We'll talk to Jim Parsons, the uh, three-time Emmy winner from the, the Big Bang Theory, plays Sheldon. Uh, he and McLovin have been working on their skit, apparently. Uh, is this... A, no, we're doing a... Against the Grain? It's Against the Grain, first official Jim Parsons, McLovin mock draft. It's a combo effort. Okay. Does Jim know about this? He does now. Okay. We just told Jim who's... He's a big Texans fan. They picked number one overall. Okay. You should run these things by our guests before you mention them live on the air. You've taught me to do the exact opposite. <laughs> okay. okay. Thank you. So Jim Parsons will join us uh, coming up on loan from the Big Bang Theory, the pride of the University of Houston. He'll uh, join us here in the New York City Man Cave. You can watch the show on Audience Channel 239. Uh, um, I'm noticing something here. If you're watching, you'll notice the same thing. Jim Parsons has the same sweatshirt, same hoodie as you have on, McLovin. I did not know he was going to wear that. Okay. If Jim has the same. <laughs> it's a, remember single white female? Well, why am I the single white female? No, 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 not you. I'm blaming Jim Parsons. I think Jim saw what you were wearing and decided to go creepy on you. I told you, he wants my job, Dan. You know what, Jim, why don't you come over and sit down so you can defend yourself, but uh, McLevin, come up here and stand next to Jim Parsons. And if Jim, if you zip up the hoodie, it looks as if Jim Parsons has tried to be McLevin for the day. All right, here we go. So if this is a lineup, like you guys did something, like you stole something from a 7-Eleven. That's a good point. It's a tall guy... Kind of an Ivy League lineup here. But you are borderline freakishly tall. Yeah. McLovin is. McLovin like, is. Yeah. You're. Tembe Matumbo tall. Yes, yeah. you are tall. Yes. All right, Jim. You may sit down. Thank now. you. All right. And then uh, you'll be working on your skit with McLovin uh, coming up. Yeah, that's interesting. It's always great to ha uh, have you in here. Congra it's nice to be here. Congrats again on another Emmy. Thank you. I thought I got this Emmy. Remember the agreement we had? No, no, no. That was a Golden Globe. Do I get the Golden Glove? Well, Glove? I don't think so, but, you know. Wait. <laughs> so you lied to me. I didn't. No, I never lied. I said that I needed to run that by a few people, my mother included. Uh, it may be a spare Golden Globe, but it's a Golden Globe nonetheless. Yes. Yeah. And what did mom say? Well, I never really asked her. Okay. So you. It was mostly my own personal greed. So you're saying no. No, I'm not saying no. I just say for the time being that I have two Golden Globes without winning two Golden Globes, and that's a very special place to be in. Yeah, but Golden Globes don't mean anything. It's really about Who the says Emmy. that? Have you talked to the Hollywood Foreign Press lately? They would beg to differ. Okay, I said Emmy or Golden Globe. Well, I don't understand why my awards are <laughs> ransom to you. <laughs> I'm you never, have a right to demand. I really never, thought you were going to win another one this year. I, I don't, it doesn't And Bob matter. won, right? Bob Costas. Yeah, well. Bob's wonderful. This is so loud. Bob's wonderful. Yeah. But um, that was that was laughable this year. Yeah, you think so? Yeah, I do. Well, I appreciate that. But I was willing to give you my Emmy. Oh, we were going to trade. Yes. Well, that is different. You're right. If I gave you a sports Emmy. Oh, God. Yeah. I would give you my sports Emmy. I mean, it's not a Heisman, but it is a sports it's Emmy. It's pretty close to it. It is pretty close. Yeah. What, if, what if this show would win a sports Emmy? I think it will. But... I would give you that sports Emmy. No, you would not, and I wouldn't expect you to. If you would go to the awards ceremony with us. Oh, I'd happily do that. I would let that. you go up there. I would happily do that, to too. To receive the honor. I wouldn't take... Oh, okay, I would go with... But I'm not taking it home with me. No, you, no, no. You, you earn would, that. You would accept it on our behalf. Well, why, if you're there? It's even better. It's like that Marlon Brando thing where the, yes, the Indian woman the went Indian upset. Woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'd do that. You know what we'll do? We'll no-show. And then you'll be up there and say that we're home working on our craft and you. That's fine. It. That's fine. I think I just said something on PC with the Indian thing. Right? Native American. Native American. Native American. You're fine. Back okay. then she was known as an Indian. Now she's Native American. Okay. Yeah, you're good. Uh, so Jim Parsons, uh, three-time Emmy Award winner, right? Uh-huh. And a couple of Golden Globes that don't mean one. Much. <laughs> and a Golden Globe. A Golden Globe that means something and one that means very little, except it's heavy. Uh, I, I was wondering about this with um, Big Bang Theory. Mm-hmm. Why does it work? Well, I don't know. I Honestly, I do think the only thing I can really say for sure, I think, is that they've done such, the writers have done such a wonderful job of defining characters that they've remained, and I mean this honestly, they've remained true to for the whole run. And so the, the unknowable part is, are you going to create characters that people care about, that they're going to watch? But if you do, which they apparently did, they've stuck to them, and they've not 
they've not morphed them into things that the audience alienated by or anything. You know, they're they're very reliable. Chuck Lorre once said that that watching these characters change would be like watching paint dry, which sounded so ridiculous to me in season one. But now in season seven, um, I'm like, that's exactly it. That's the formula. But when you read the script, yeah, and I've read scripts before yeah. where I don't laugh, but then right. I see when it's on the screen, and then others laugh. Like I. Yeah. So I don't know if you read Big Bang Theory. I did not laugh out loud. Were you nervous about this, that how long is this going to last? No. No, because I had never had anything that had lasted. <laughs> <laughs> so it was just, I was happy to make the money for the pilot to pay rent, and then I was uh, very willing to kind of go along and see. Your job oh, before the Big Bang Theory was what? I had done a couple of pilots, and I had done some commercials. That had been my biggest paying stuff. But long before that in Houston, I had done a lot of, like, professional theater, which in Houston wasn't very much money at the time. Uh, but enough, you know, because it was Houston, thank God, so my rent was low. But, um, uh, yeah, so it had just been strung together, you know, kind of, you know, literally paycheck to paycheck. When then, did you know you were famous? I don't know. Like, there had to be a moment where you go... There, well, I don't know. There wasn't, though. It was a more of a slow creep, you know? Because, like, I did, like, little parts. Like, I did... Like, I would get noticed for, like, a FedEx commercial on the street randomly in New York. Or I would get noticed for, like, I had one scene in Zach Braff's movie, uh, Garden State. And that got a lot of attention. So... But nobody would have known my name from that. They would just recognize me. And uh, it's only been in the past three and a half, I'd say, years, roughly, that people yell out my name on the street but and you not... Get Jim or Sheldon? I mostly get Jim. And when I get Sheldon, I don't turn around. <laughs> That's the cue to keep going. <laughs> that and bazinga. You just keep going, keep going. Well, but you have these catchphrases. And sometimes yeah. you get, you know, you get these uh, identifiable characters. Yeah. And you, and you have it. And sometimes it's hard to... Move away from that? Yes. Yeah. Are you concerned about that? Uh, no. I would say I'm aware of that. Um, but uh, there's, not, there's not a whole lot I can do. There's nothing I can do besides my own work, really, to change anyone's... Like a to, serial killer. Would you... Um, yeah, I would happily. Uh, like that's something I've, I mean, sort of talked about. But any sort of bad character like that, you know, I've, I've done that on stage before, and I would love to do that again. Because I looked at Brian Cranston, and oh, I don't God, know if yeah. anybody has made that kind of move no. from opposite ends of the rainbow. I agree. How on Malcolm in the Middle. I know. Stunningly brilliant character. Yep. To then Walter White... No, he's unbelievable. He's a, and he really is. I think uh, he was. A, he's been a noted inspiration for me, and I think he is for a lot of actors in general. You know, it's that kind of, you know, thing that that you would only hope to get to do to have to have that kind of success in that kind of variance. You know. He's done the kind of thing, he's got the kind of career where most most actors who would do that would be like, I know his face from somewhere, but Brian's been so successful at it that he's done all those things, and you still know who he is, yeah. you know. It's, uh, it's a true testament to his talent. He's Jim Parsons. Uh, three, I am. Three-time Emmy winner. I know, I have to reintroduce it's you. Okay. It's okay, like it's a radio show. Radio audience yeah, as well. absolutely. You can tune in if you'd like to see him um, on Audience Channel 239, DirecTV, and the NBC Sports Network. When you go in to do Big Bang Theory, mm-hmm. How did we, how did this show become part of your life? What do you mean? Like when you started watching it and Oh, well I mean I was on it from the beginning. Yeah. Oh, this show? Yes. Oh, not Big Bang. No, no. This, this show This is about me right well, now, Jim. Of course it okay? is. Okay. Um I got into a routine. I moved to LA and uh, went on Big Bang and I started uh, quitting smoking cuz Southern California does that to you. You get healthier in every way. And so I started uh uh like running in the morning. And then at one point, I finally uh, had enough money to buy a treadmill. So I bought a treadmill. And so I would work out on the treadmill in the mornings, and I would watch uh, sports shows. And I would watch, uh, for a long time, I watched uh, First Take. Is that what it's called anymore? First right? Fake. First fake. <laughs> Shut up. What is it <laughs> Cold pizza. Um, but then uh, they, and I, we, you talked about, you were just talking about this, but there was so much screaming going on <laughs> that I really couldn't take it that early. And I flicked around, and I found this show. Hmm. But and you're not, that was it. You're not necessarily a sports fan. Oh, no, I am, though. You are? Yeah. I never played. I'm, I'm the freak sports fan. So you're sport- I love competition. But I really do. Are you a sports geek? Like in Hollywood? Um, it, it, do you hang out with, do you have a fantasy football team? Oh, God, yeah. Oh, okay. I came in sixth place this year out of 12. Oh, out of 12. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Last year I was in Other fourth. Other celebrities in? Uh, Kunal, who plays uh, yeah. uh, the Rajesh on our show, he's in it. Um, and that's the only other celebrity. And if there's another one, they're going to be upset. I miss them. But that's it. That's it. But do you hang with do you other run? celebrities? Yes. 
I mean, if I see them out, yeah. But I don't go out that much. I see them at maybe an award show or an event. But but explain to me though, you what? know, like what that's like. Hollywood. My life? Well, no, Hollywood hanging out with other famous people. You no, know, it's you're it talking happen. to the wrong guy. I clarify oh. this every time I'm here. I know, but I thought maybe it no. changed the last time no. I talked to you. I am forty. I was thirty three when this show went on the air. I had lived my juvenile delinquent life. If you were twenty three when the, it, I, this hit, we wouldn't be on the air. Or I wouldn't. You wouldn't have lasted. I don't know if that, I, may, I may be over dramatizing that, but I mean, when I think of myself at 23, are you kidding me? Is Hollywood that dangerous for somebody that young to be successful? I think it can be. You know, I think that I was a really late bloomer in a lot of ways. I think I still am. And, uh, and I think that I was, uh, you know, I was never stupid, but I was not necessarily mature, you know? And I think given the kind of access, uh, money, and things like that that went along, I, I just, I had a lot of drinking to do. I had a lot of things to do, you know. Most famous person in your phone right now? In my phone. Yeah, that you could call. I mean, everybody on the cast is in my phone, and they're all pretty famous right now. Um, Who would surprise me is in your phone? You know, I honestly don't know. Uh, you know what? Mo, mo, uh, I don't know. Ryan Murphy? I mean, that doesn't surprise you, does it? No. no. I mean, come on. Help us here. Lie about it. The, the, you're really tanking the show with this comment. I mean, come on. <laughs> you're the one tanking. You do. You're... Uh, it's not my show to run. But, but you should have prepared answers for questions yes. I don't know are coming. Yes. This is ridiculous. This isn't like late night where we script this, <laughs> right? No, I prefer the late night where it's not. Most of them are really good at that yeah. too, by the way. Oh wow, Wait, they are. Not... No, that oh, was not I, what I that meant. That shot. is not what I That's meant what at all. Was. Okay, I don't have a golden glove. I don't have a golden glove. Big deal. <laughs> oh, uh, did God. you go to uh, Kaylee? Uh, Kaylee's uh, wedding? No, I was here. I had to come here for work. Oh, so you I did. Traveled. Yeah. Were you invited? Yes, I was invited. Okay, just... We're friends. <laughs> I'm very happy for her too. Okay. I, just... I asked her where she was registered, and she said, "I'm not. Sorry." You're gonna get her something. Yeah, I'm going to get her something. I keep wanting to get her. It's so stupid. I keep saying, I want to get her a nice crystal punch bowl. Who that? Who <laughs> needs a crystal punch Nobody bowl Nobody uses anymore? that stuff. But, like, I, for some reason, I have this memory of my mother and father having this really nice, and I always knew that they had gotten it for their wedding. I'm like, that's a nice wedding gift. And I don't really know that we ever used it either. You don't even use a lot of no. the gifts you get. No, you're right. But you think it's a great gift. Yeah, exactly. And it's not. No. No, it's just, just give money. Y because, yeah. No. Yeah, you can always use money. You can always use money. By the money. way, we have gifts for you. Is that right? Yes, we have some gifts. You didn't have to bribe me to come I, here. Uh, I, yes, we did. Oh. Okay. Yes, I got. Uh, <laughs> I have true. four T-shirts. Really? We, we have Flinch Ball. Oh. What is yeah. that? Oh. oh, the Flinch Ball T-shirt. Yes. Super. Would you be willing to play a celebrity I version play of Flinch Ball? A celebrity version of I would Flinch play. Ball. Okay, I would you play. can pick whoever you want. I saw. So oh. Now, Fritzy nailed Ron Burgundy. I, that's what I was going to say. I, I, Will Ferrell was, was willing. Who am I to say no? Okay, you can have Fritzy McLovin. Now, you get to return fire, too, with okay. Flinchball. Okay. But you pick. Oh. Uh, you know what? During the break. Okay. That's okay, how okay. Seacrest does it. You know, yeah, after the break. After the break. Yeah. All right. So he's uh, Jim Parsons. Once again, he won a Golden Globe. I don't have one. And <laughs> You're he's not only, eligible. I'm not? I don't. It doesn't category I'm on for a TV you. show. No, no, no. This doesn't count in that way. How's it count? Uh, it's a sports show. I know, but it's a show. They don't care. They don't. <laughs> no. I've got four Emmys. Oh, is that right? Yes, I do. Oh, you're older. Yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a lot older. All right. Uh, so, uh, Jim, uh, Celebrity Flinch Ball, and you're going to sit back with the other nerds back Happily. in the back with Fritzy yes. and McLovin. Play nice with McLovin. He's nice to me. Yeah, sometimes. All right. So uh, the great Jim Parsons joining us here in the New York City Man Cave. All right, we'll come back. I believe Bob Stoops, uh, Oklahoma head coach, going to join us in about 15 minutes from now. And uh, anything else I need to mention here, Paulie? I just got a text from J.J. Watt is watching the show. Knock it off. Yeah, and he said, uh, good to see you. He goes, great guy, funny guy, Houston guy. Well, I nearly listed J.J. Watt from my, from my phone. So you have his number. I don't have his number. Actually, I have his email. I don't think he's... Well, I don't know. Maybe J.J. doesn't want me to have his number. I don't think that's the case. Um, but I do have, have, he's on my email list. But so is Fritzy. So. Do you want me to get J.J. Watt's number for you? No, 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 no. It sounded like you were saying. No, I, I, you know what? I'll email him if I want his number. Okay. Right. How awkward. You're tense. I'm, if I am, it's only because of your weird line of questioning. How would you rate these questions, though? Ten. Out of? Ten. 
Oh, so yeah. they're they're weird. Now is it I'm, ten? I'm or, okay with ten that. or tense. Did you say? <laughs> it's a tense ten, oh, but it is a tense ten. Yeah. Okay. This is a good conversation. Okay. I mean, I'm not saying everybody finds it entertaining, but I know that <laughs> having done a lot of these kinds of things, this is not bad. Not this is good. Okay. For, you are. I don't know how I'm doing. I won't judge that. You're doing okay. I know. Do okay. you want to ask me how you're doing? How am I doing? I'm getting six. Well, oh, why man. would you do that? Out of six? I mean, Dungy's always good. He was sitting here. But I think I outdid him today. I watched that interview. Wow. You did. I don't mean that in a bad way. He's on here a lot. So yeah. He's got a lot to live up to. He's had some excellent days. This was a fine one. Fine. <laughs> There's no games yet. What was he supposed to say? He doesn't have any Emmys or Globes. And he won't. No, he won't. Because he's on a show like this. All right, 22 after the hour, the tense Jim Parsons <laughs> will continue with us. Bob Stoops will join us coming up. This is, I believe, The Dan Patrick Show. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.